Today, Senator Baldwin met with Algoma City officials to discuss a $19 million project to fix the harbor's south breakwater after over 100 years. NBC 26's Ben Boken was there when the plan was announced in February and has the latest on the new construction developments. After over 100 years, a long concrete structure in Algoma still serves as a walkway for anglers and tourists. The amount of people that come on and off of that pier in the summer months is, it's unreal, uh, the amount of people that you see walk out there. And it's a pivotal source of protection for the city's marina and shoreline. But Public Works Director Matt Murphy says the concrete is crumbling. The big thing is the failing surface of it. Uh, what can we do to put a, a top on it and how is that going to be addressed? On Friday, U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin met with Algoma officials to discuss a plan to use over $19 million in federal funds to repair the harbor's south breakwater. It sounds like the funding is earmarked for 2023. Murphy says the project's main goal is to make the south breakwater right behind me safer for pedestrians. Where you see like the rebar here, the, the uh, degraded concrete where it's just uh, freezing and thawing wave action that's actually just beating on this concrete, you would, this would be encapsulated inside of the new one. This structure would still be here. The investment is part of a federal bill passed in November and the city found out about the project in February. The bipartisan infrastructure law is to help small communities be able to become more resilient um, and uh, make sure that their infrastructure can last another 100 years. Murphy says the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will complete 30 percent of the design and the construction will be done by contractors. I don't know if we'll see actually feet on the ground till 2024 the way it sounds and it might even be possibly 2025 before we actually see something moving and taking place out front here. It might be years before it's all done, but Murphy believes it's worth the wait. I think it's, it's very big for the tourism impact for the city of Algoma. In Algoma, Ben Boken, NBC 26.